Hi, Mario here. First of all, I want to thank my patrons for supporting my work. Welcome to Uxmal, located in Mexico. Uxmal is situated on the peninsula of Yucatan. This area is full of ancient so-called Mayan structures. Uxmal is one of the larger sites on Yucatan. Curious enough, Uxmal means built three times. An intriguing name. What is there behind this name? Was it built three times just recently? Or was it rebuilt three times? We have examined Uxmal minutely and discovered interesting facts about the site that reveals its true age. What appears to be the case? The people that are called the Mayans are not the original builders of these structures. They are just the renovators of what they have found. The original builders are lost in an ocean of time, many tens of thousands of years ago. This detailed map of Uxmal was the basis for our research. This map is calibrated to true north. All structures are accurately drawn in dimensions and in orientation. Most people who look at this map do not see what we are seeing. At first, all structures are clockwise oriented. Clockwise orientation is everything between 0 and 45 degrees east of true north. The orientation pattern seems chaotic and despite its chaotic orientation there is not a single structure to find that is counterclockwise oriented. That is curious regarding its chaotic pattern. The method that we have developed can be applied to this typical situation of Uxmal or any other ancient site that has similar chaotic patterns. Here you see pole 2 to 5 that we have discovered. And these poles are no magnetic poles, no, they are geographic poles. Or in other words, ancient spin axes of the Earth. Today the Earth spins around pole 1. But over the last few hundreds of thousands of years, the Earth's crust was heavily deformed, meaning that the spin axes were at other locations on the crust. The crust, which is just thin, light and brittle, compared to the rest of the 99% mass of the Earth, re-wraps itself once in every while. This process of deformation has been called ice ages. Many ancient structures are still pointing to these areas, which are excessively dense nodes of intersections. Our method has severe consequences as to how old these structures originally are. They might have been renovated many times on top of the much older foundations, but the foundation remained in its original orientation despite the renovations. We have collected the data of virtually all ancient structures in a database. Our conclusions are mathematically inescapable no matter what mainstream science claims about these ancient structures or about the capacities of ancient Homo sapiens. The things that archaeology presents to the public are no thoroughly tested scientific facts. No, they are mere ideas what they believe themselves. The public thinks that archaeology is a science. Thanks to new technologies, they start to work more scientifically. But their paradigm has got stuck somewhere in the 18th century. It has become a belief system instead of a hard science. Their claims about stone structures are untestable. Hence, it is no real science. Stone structures cannot be dated other than our probabilistic method that we have developed. Dating megaliths is really one of the toughest problems in science. It takes 
tremendous mathematical work to get a glimpse on the magnificent vastness of the ancient world. The magnificence of the ancient world is beyond comprehension. How did we manage to prove the real age of Ushmal? The full video is only available to patrons. You can go to my Patreon page to subscribe to one of my plans. Only then can you watch this full video and discover our full research and all other full videos that I have published before. I hope to welcome you there. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.